Hey everyone, so today is going to be a little bit of a different video. So me and my sister are going to the bookstore and we haven't been since like all this year basically because of COVID. So we, I thought I was like, you know what, it's, it will be fun to kind of document this monumental moment and we're going to be going to the craft store as well. Uh, which So we're going to two of my favorite places in the world right now. So I was like, why not bring you guys along for the ride? But what I really like about the store, it is called Half Price Books and you can like bring books that you don't want anymore and you can either get cash or store credit so you me and my sister have compiled a big uh, box of stuff because she just moved home from her master's so she has like a few books she wants to get rid of and all that so we're gonna we always combine it and then we kind of go and find books that we want so I have a few books on my mind and I have to like write the list out because the reception in that building is so bad so I have to write it out so that I have a few on my mind um, but if I can't find it that's okay um, but I'll quickly show you the books that I'm unhauling and then hopefully I'll have a few that I can kind of tell you that I get um, so I only have three books that I'm unhauling the first one is Spinning Silver by Novi Novik I read this earlier this year I want to say um, and it wasn't necessarily my favorite it I didn't I felt there were too many storylines even though I like how liked how everything kind of like connected at the end. I don't think this is necessarily one that I am going to, you know, want to pick up um, ever again. So I thought it would be um, a good place to, you know, you know, give someone else a home. Um, and it looks brand new too, so you probably could pass it off as like new. This other one is American Dirt by Jan Cummins and you guys saw my review of this. I had a lot of problems with it. It was just poorly written. It was very racist in many different aspects and I was not a fan. So <laughs> this one I'm like I'm happy to get rid of it because it just made me so angry. And lastly I have The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. This is a book that I'm really disappointed that I didn't end up liking and I ended up DNFing it maybe 120 pages in, but I think this is a book for either people love it or hate it, and I was not one of the people that liked it. It didn't really have a lot of plot or, you know, anything. Like, I didn't like the characters. It was too, <clears throat> sorry, it was too far out there for me to enjoy. Like, it was just too bizarre and all that. Even though I did really like the writing, it just wasn't for me. So these are the three books that I will getting rid of um, in exchange for store credit. So the general plan for today is that me and my sister will be leaving in a little bit. She has an eye doctor appointment. We're going to go together because it's closer to the highway so it makes more sense for us to just kind of go together and then from there we're going to go to the craft store and then the bookstore which are in the same plaza which works out for us and then I think on the way back I think we have to stop at Target to get a card for my grandpa's birthday coming up soon. So I'm very excited for this. Like I said, the Joann's near my, like our house closed. And so this is like the closest one. And I figured since we're already there, that'll be good. Cause I have a project in mine and the Michaels near our house doesn't sell that type of yarn. So hopefully I'll be able to find it there. Cause I didn't want to have to buy it online and pay for shipping. So I was like, I'm there. I'll see if I can find it. So I have that in mind. And then I have to quickly write my list for the books that I, you know, have in my mind that I want to read. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to find them. But in the meantime, I quickly need to, you know, finish getting ready. And then me and my sister will be heading out. We got the Duncan and we're ready to go. I'm just waiting for my sister to come back. So, oh yeah, it's going to be a good day. This is just a side note, but the plaza that the eye doctor is at is also the place where they have like a cigar place and people are smoking outside and it's the most disgusting smell ever like just a side complaining thing but so gross Ugh. but i called the bookstore and they don't accept like they don't start doing the selling until the trade-ins um until one so it is a little bit after 11 so we might have to kill some time so i'll see what my sister wants to do when we when she gets back but I don't know, I think like we could find something to do for like, because we're also going to the craft store, so we can find something to do. Alrighty guys, so we are back home. Me and my sister decided just to come straight home. We stopped by Target to get my grandpa his birthday card, but other than that we, we came home because we didn't want to kind of expose ourselves to other kind of environments, even though we're wearing a mask. It 
we just it's like unnecessary so we just came home um we'll be home for like another maybe 45 minutes or so and then we'll head out so we'll be able to have lunch from home and all that so it'll be good so in the meantime i think i'm gonna pick up the vanishing half by Britt bennett about 140 or so pages into it and i like it so far it's a very interesting writing style it's very stream of consciousness and like the story progresses but it also you get like the past narrative as well which is very interesting and i like it so far um so i think i might pick that up in the meantime um so yeah it's almost lunchtime so we'll have I think I'll have an English muffin with some peanut butter. Tucker is exploring the garden right now and I'm just watching him. He's so cute. He just goes and does his little thing. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to pick up a book, relax for a little bit, and then we'll head out, um, which is good. Oh, look who is. Hi, Tucker. So um, like I said, I'm just going to hang out for a little bit and then me and my sister will go out. Um, but yeah, we just didn't want to go anywhere like we weren't comfortable with the restaurant or anything so we're like you know what it's, che <laughs> it's cheaper <laughs> um just to stay home so we're just gonna do that like i said get some reading done and then we'll head out i think we'll have like a pretty good store credit which i'm excited about because there was some like audiobooks in there some dvds that we had extra of, of because my sister had copies when she was in toronto so i feel like we'll have pretty good and my dad put some in there so i'm excited like i said i have my my wish list and if I can find them it'll be good because they do have used books so they're cheaper sometimes they don't have the ones you're looking for which is a bit of a bummer but um, you can either do like use it towards your purchase or you can get cash so either way win-win oh what's wrong <coughs> what <coughs> what are you talking about what are you talking about <coughs> Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! What are you doing? What are you doing? Is that what you really think about us, Tucker? What do you want? now um, me and my sister just got back a couple of minutes ago but um, at Joanne's I couldn't find the yarn that I wanted so I'm just gonna order it online even though I didn't want to um, it's on sale so I don't feel as bad but um, yeah so I got that but I'll quickly show you the books that I picked out yeah so this was the yarn that I wanted that I couldn't find so I'm just ordering that because I have my ones here but I got two books these were the ones actually on my list so I was happy um, I got this I got Crazy Rich Asians which this is a movie I watched on the plane coming back from Barcelona last year and I really liked it and I want to I always like a good trilogy so I thought this one would be a fun one to start and it's quite long actually like it's I feel like it's yeah it's over 500 pages so it'll be pretty good and then this was a book that was on 
big on booktube a couple years ago but i rented the movie with brie larson from the library which i haven't watched yet but i want to also read the book as well i think will be very interesting and as you guys know this you guys probably already know what these ones are but i'm happy about this i got these two books and then my sister got three books so it ended up coming to 24 dollars. so i'm very pleased about that so you know it was very successful minus the yarn but you know that's okay the books you know you know i'm happy <laughs> So in the meantime, I'm going to quickly order this yarn and then I'm going to do some reading. Like I said, I've been reading The Vanishing Half and I want to, I've been trying to coordinate reading this, like finishing this because a new Cormor and Strike series like book comes out on the 15th on Tuesday. So I'm trying to coordinate it so I can finish this and then I can pick that one up as soon as it comes on Tuesday. So that's what I'm trying to coordinate. So if I can like get majority of it finished this weekend. That'll be my goal, so I'm going to order the yarn and then get some reading done. next day now and I thought I would end this kind of unhaul haul slash vlog um, type video I think it's just kind of like a random video but I was like you know what I'm back I'm like I thought it would just be something fun and a little bit different and I visited my two favorite places in the world and I wanted to bring you guys along with me because it's been so long since I've actually physically been in a store like that so really excited about it I wanted just to kind of do something fun uh, but last night we <laughs> it was my brother and my mom's joint birthday party and th we they wanted to cook the dinner over the fire but the fire gives me a headache so I admired it from a distance and then we ate in the backyard so <laughs> that's what you kind of saw there and I ended up finishing the vanishing half which will be in another video of me talking about my review for that um, but yeah, in the meantime, I will let you guys go because like I said, this video was just a smorgasbord of everything. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.